Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do side chaining. So, in order to do side chaining, if you're not familiar with it, you're going to learn what it sounds like and how to do it in this tutorial as well. In order to do side chaining, there are only a few steps you got to do. First, have your basic kick. So we have a basic four melody over here. Um, so we have this. So that's our main kick. Next, um, throw in another kick. So this is the same kick but it's not going to be used as a kick, it's going to be used to create the side chain effect. Once you have this, um, select it, link it to a channel, and so the kick has been linked to this channel. Take your synthesizer that you want to use, link it to the following channel, so you have the kick here, the side chain kick, and you have the synth on the right. Next, all you have to do, go to the kick, and for the kick, attach the fruity peak controller so we're going to attach that and this will basically mute it so it's muted but if you do look you still see the volume coming up and down so the volume is what's going to control that synthesizer so the volume of the synthesizer will de be dependent upon the peak of these kicks so the only thing we got to do now is come to the mixer go to the 3x oscillator and you can use the volume control here or you can use anything else to create a new effect but for basic um, side chaining right click on the volume click link it to controller go to P control for bass the bass drum and one more thing you gotta make it inverted as well so inverted and click OK or click accept and now the result will be like this So the volume coming in and out, that's basic side chaining. Now the good thing about this is you can attach that or paste that to your playlist and you have the kick up here and you get a cool effect so it will sound like this. Now obviously that's not a really good synth but it's just to show you an example so you can use any other um, synthesizer or uh, VSCI, VSC, whatnot to create um, something you like. So it can also be customized as well so this is um, the basic one. If you come over here into the mixer, go back to the uh, bass drum and go to the peak controller, by adjusting the volume you can get different results. So that's a tutorial on side chaining. Um, it's really simple to do but some people do need help with it. Um, so I will post the FLP file um, on the sidebar as well. If you do need any other help, leave a comment on my video or leave a video response. Also, don't forget to share the video and subscribe if you have time. And I will post some future videos and tutorials on FL Studio stuff. If you do need help with something specific, just leave a comment on the video and I'll get back to you.